Hey folks, what's up? Lex here, and today we're taking a look at the NECA Real Toys Chucky, four inches tall, over 20 points of articulation, something like that. Um, this is from 2017. I actually bought this probably six months or more ago. Uh, I saw this just hanging out at Target, and the packaging is just so cool that I, I had to, to open it up and when I opened it up it sold me even more uh, the packaging is just amazing on this on the sides you have the different good guy occupations on the back uh, you've got some pictures of what the different heads and stuff like that look like so I am very eager to open this up I have not opened this since I bought it I've been waiting for a rainy day I guess and today is the day so this figure Friday is not a wrestling figure but uh, this should be a really cool figure regardless. All right, so the box folds out into this, which you can see there. Um, you have the picture on the left, and then on the right you have so many accessories, it's ridiculous. Now, I, I don't know if they put so many accessories in to make up for the fact that Chucky is smaller, therefore he's less plastic. I don't know. I have the NECA uh, Friday the 13th Part 4 Jason, uh, which he came with a couple of accessories, but nowhere near this. But he's also bigger, so who knows. Um, this, though, comes with three extra heads. You've got a hammer. You've got the voodoo knife, baseball bat. You've got uh, more knives. You've got a gun. The ruler from... Child's Play 2, and you've got multiple hands to fit the accessories in. Now the heads seem to um, represent the wholesome good guy uh, before it's turned, the Chucky part of the good guy. Then in the middle there you have the face sliced Chucky head from Child's Play 3 when they're in the uh, carnival ride. And then the last one on the end there looks like uh, bride seed of Chucky combination it actually looks a lot like seed of Chucky or maybe even uh, later than that uh, it definitely doesn't really resemble bride of Chucky so maybe I'm wrong about that I've seen these movies so many times over it just kind of strikes me uh, as seed of Chucky all right enough blabbering let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at all the accessories here Okay, so we have the doll out of the packaging. One of the things about these figures, the accessories tend to run all over. They tend to want to jump out and, and get lost on the floor. So um, I always have uh, worries about losing some uh, accessories or whatever. I actually lost Jason's hand on my other figure. Uh, but the articulation on this tiny 4-inch figure is actually pretty outstanding. You have head movement all around you have arm movement at the shoulder you have the elbow movement here it doesn't go all the way up but it goes right there uh, you have hand swivels and a little bit of movement not much and then also on the legs you have legs up and down you have knee up and down kind of it's a little iffy and you have feet they uh, wiggle, well, they don't wiggle too much, actually, but you can swivel them. So you can pose this in quite a few different ways. And uh, overall, just the detail on this figure is pretty outstanding, especially for how small it is. When you're talking about some of the painting on the overalls, um, it's just really, really well done. So now it's time to take a look at the accessories it comes with. You get the baseball bat from the first one. You get the butcher knife, which I guess you could put that on any of them. You get the good guy hammer right here. It actually has good guys, uh, a good guy sticker on it. Actually, that might be paint, not a sticker. Uh, yeah, that's painted on. You get the barber's razor from child's play 3 and one of my favorite scenes of the whole series you get the iconic voodoo knife you get the combat knife 
I believe that's from part three. I say I'm saying part three. There aren't parts, but you know what I mean. Uh, you get a more pointed knife here. Can't really pinpoint that. Pinpoint that. Excuse me. Uh, right now, and then of course, another iconic accessory here is the blade in the stump from Child's Play 2 in the factory, uh, where he loses his hand and sticks the knife blade in the stump. Uh, and then also we got this uh, ruler from part two, where he uh, slaps it in his hand and uh, says, someone's been very naughty, Miss Kettlewell. So then you've also got three hands to choose from. One that is meant for holding, uh, well, I think they're all meant for holding uh, knives and accessories and stuff like that. But uh, where'd that other hand go? Oh, there it is. See, these things are hard to misplace. And then another hand, a little bit more closed there. Overall, this figure is just fantastic. I got this for 27 bucks at Target. Um, you can get it on Amazon right now for $30. I think if you're a fan of the series, then it's like a must-get type of figure. I, I mean, the different heads that it comes with, accessories, even if you are not fond of Child's Play 3, for example, there's stuff from Child's Play 2 that you can pose it with and uh, just, just a really, really cool figure. One of my big complaints about uh, Child's Play merchandise, dolls, whatever it may be, is the quality or lack thereof. Usually, the quality in, let's just say, the dolls that they put out is really bad. And if you want to get a good quality one, it's hundreds of dollars. This is a way to get a really, really on-point uh, figure for pretty cheap I mean you're getting a lot of accessories with this you're getting bang for your buck you're getting quality and it's small so it doesn't take up much room you can put it on your desk and leave it there or whatever uh, just outstanding figure overall so that's gonna do it for this figure Friday thanks for watching I really appreciate it give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more figure reviews and until next time this is Lex signing off